So in order to do matrix multiplication, take this example. Suppose that we have two matrices, A and B, and we want to multiply these matrices. So first of all, we should define these matrices. So first of all, I should import the NumPy package as NP. Then I simply type NP.array because you want to define an, an array. That's it. And I open a square bracket, and also I close the square bracket, and I press Enter. And between these two square brackets, I should define the rows. For example, the first matrix, the first row of the first matrix is 1, 2, 3, and the second row is 4, 5, 6. So this is our matrix A. So this is A, and let's define matrix B. So matrix B is equal to np.array, and we should open a square bracket and also close the square bracket. And I press enter, and between these two square brackets, I should define different rows. So the first row is 10 and 11. The second row is 20 and 21, and the third row is 30 and 31. So this is our matrix A, and this is matrix B. And also remember that you can put all this stuff in one line, but it is not readable. So I really suggest you to put each row in each line in order to make it more clear and more readable. So after defining these two matrices, we want to do matrix multiplication. And in order to do matrix multiplication, we want to talk about three methods in order to do matrix multiplication in Python. The first way is to simply use uh, the matrix multiplication matmul and numpy package so we use this matrix multiplication function in the numpy package and we pass a and b i mean our matrices in order to do matrix multiplication and i store the result in a variable let's say called output and if i print the output variable and if i run a code you can see here is exactly the same output and you can see it is correct and the second method is to simply use uh, the dot function so i simply use uh, the dot function and in order to do matrix multiplication, I should pass A and B, so that's it. And if I run a code, you can see again we get the same result. And also remember that you can use this format as well, A dot, and you want to use the dot method, and you pass B. It means the matrix multiplication of A and B. And if I run a code, you can see again we get the same output. And the third method, which is the easiest one in order to do matrix multiplication between A and B, is to put at sign between these two matrices. So this at sign works as matrix multiplication operator for matrices. So if I run a code, we can see here is the output, which is exactly correct. Now I really suggest you to watch this video, which is on the screen now.